day on CBS News 8, although I'm not sure the animal is <laughs> quite feeling the same way. Well, we have a North American <laughs> beaver making her debut this morning. This is our friend Kyle. This is Justine, and we're trying to coax Justine mm -hmm. out. Nothing to worry about, Justine. It's only bright TV lights and <laughs> yeah. cameras everywhere. But and a lot of people out. in the studio. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Right. So we're going to do our best to show you the animal as Kyle. So tell us about... Absolutely. North yeah. American so, beaver. Justine, hopefully she'll come out eventually, but she is a North American beaver, which can be found throughout all of the United States and up into Canada and even parts of Mexico. She's only four years old. So, well, she's still a young little beaver, mm -hmm. but we got her when she was about a year and a half. Aww. So we got her a little bit later than we would like for an animal ambassador. So it took her a little bit longer to warm up to us. <laughs> <Which, laughs> uh, you can see, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. she is a very good ambassador. and She will come out. She's now letting us handle her. We can touch her, which is leaps and bounds from where she started. I don't know if you know this, but beavers, when they get nervous, they use that giant tail to tail slap the water which is a very loud, shocking sound. Mm -hmm. It's a warning for others as well as the predators to stay away. She used to do that when we walked by. Oh. So now, She's trying to tell you. she is very, very calm with us. Come on out, Justine. Right? Yes. Yes. Now, what are you guys giving her right now so that way she kind of, you can coax her out? Well, her favorite treats include yam and jicama which apparently this morning is not one of those favorites. Oh, so yeah. Jessica is trying her very hardest to get her to come out. Uh, it is morning time. They tend to be nocturnal. Right. So they will work a lot during the uh, midnight hour, if you will. That term, busy as a beaver, is very, very true. They'll work 29-hour days in the wintertime when they're under the ice and they cannot see the sunlight. Is it um, true that they can hold their breath for about 15 minutes? Absolutely. So 15 minutes is kind of the average. They can go a little bit longer or a little bit less, depending on what they're doing. If they're working, they can stay underwater for a long time. If they're wow. hiding from a predator, it could be a little bit longer. Most common predator typical would be what? Uh, in North America, uh, lots of different things. Your big Anything, cats, huh? yeah. uh, your wolves, even domestic dogs will hunt for them. So, Well, you were telling us about how she's nocturnal, so let's talk mm -hmm. about Nighttime Zoo. Nighttime Zoo, yes. Yeah. So for the whole next summertime, we're going to be doing Nighttime Zoo. It starts at 4 o'clock. Every single day, we have musical experiences and new shows. We have our Earth Rhythm Show and our brand new renovated Wegaforth Bowl Stadium where you can see all kinds of different dancing and acrobatic experiences, and it's a whole lot of fun. You should definitely check it out. It's open till 9 o'clock. Nice. And night. I feel like she's relaxing she's a little bit. Out. She's coming out. She's like, is. She's okay. coming out. Just as we wrap it up here. Right.